Hi, this is Mike Kasser with Electrical Equipment Company. Today I'd like to demonstrate the use of IQ Agent software for converting paper procedures to electronic procedures, the digital worker. Today's example we want to show the ability to come up with an electronic procedure for inspecting control panels. So in order to do that, we're going to launch IQ Agent software, which can be downloaded off the App Store. IQ Agent supports augmented reality wear, um, iPads, iPhones, Android phones, and other devices. So it's pretty flexible on what the software can support. In our example today, we're going to take Rockwell's preventive maintenance checklist of industrial control and, and drive system equipment document which is a about a six page document and we're going to convert that to an electronic procedure instead of a paper procedure and we're going to use this demonstration control panel that we have in the Richmond office in ECO at Electrical Equipment in Richmond as you can see on the left hand side we have IQ agents version of the Rockwell procedure converted to what is called a form inside of IQ agent software so what we have here is a picture of a control panel with a QR code on the outside of it and the first thing that pops up is a faceplate which is what we like to call a point of interest and what you see there is it says preventive maintenance checklist service bulletin form so I click that and now it says do you want to open it in the browser or IQ agent forms for today's example we're going to use the browser on board the tablet so now what you see is the procedure that we we the, ter the service technician or the inspector this is the form that we need to fill out so first thing it asks for is the inspector's name Then it automatically put in the date. And the first thing it asked, the second thing it asked us for is to check the enclosure filters, enclosure fans, the VFD heat sinks, VFD capacitor fans, convert, converter gate board stirring fan, DC precharge fan. And after we do these things, we check these off. Next thing it talks about is the VFD power components, inspect and clean the power section, the IGBTs, SCRs, capacitors, etc. Once complete, we check that. Next thing is to check the operator mechanisms in the control panel. We check the contacts on contactors and relays, for example. Complete. Check all the terminals, power and control, to make sure that they're tight to the to uh, manufacturing specifications. Check the coils and all the control volt on the control relays. Make sure there's no burning or discoloration. Check the pilot lights. Make sure all the lights are working in working order that the bulbs don't need replacing, that sort of thing. Check all the solid state devices per factory recommendations. Check the locking and interlocking devices. Completed. And then what the next thing you see here is line voltage. So we're actually pulling the control panel's capability for measuring its own line voltage and temperature in and temperature out. So that might be a nice thing to have in the records as to what the condition was when we checked this control panel. So we have a record of what the normal line voltage is, what the normal temperature inside and out are. Then the last thing we want to do is take a photo of our work. After we've completed cleaning the cabinet and checking everything, we're going to take a picture of the control panel. I can use a picture that's already on board, or I can take my own picture with the iPad. And for this demonstration, I'm going to just pretend like I'm taking a picture of the control panel. 
So I'm going to use this photo. And a few seconds later, this photo will come in, and I have the opportunity to notate some things like maybe this power supply looks questionable, PLC looked good, drive looked good, uh, PC looks good. Um, this device right here, maybe we need to check that out. And then hit done. So now that's in the maintenance record. And the last thing I want to do is sign off that I inspected this. And then hit submit. So now we've completed an electronic procedure, filled out, filled out all the proper fields, and we have a record that was put into the maintenance database. IQ Agent is based on SQL Server Lite. It can also support putting those records into a database of your choice. Now if I want to review the record that I created and submitted into the database, I can click on View Your Submission. Now here I can review all the pertinent information that I completed during this inspection, see the relative voltages and, and temperatures of the cabinet, and see again my annotated picture of the control panel and my signature. There's a lot more you can do with forms. This is just one example. This is an example of converting clipboard and paper to electronic procedures. And these, these procedures are automatically put into a database that can be retrieved later in some relational database that may apply to higher order analytics, etc. Thank you for watching this demo. See you soon.